morning. <laughs> oh. Different day, same jumper. DD SJ. <laughs> I actually slept in this. <laughs> I was so cold last night. I had to have a hot water bottle in freaking the 26th of April. And I slept so well. I have one of these masks. Hashtag not sponsored. <clears throat> but it's an eye mask specifically for sleeping and it's got little um, speakers in the ears. So, and it's got like eye holes at the back. It's just really good for absolutely zoning you out. So you can just listen to something quietly or a meditation or <clears throat> waves or music or what, podcasts, whatever. Um, and you just drift so good, especially around here where it's just nonstop non-stop outside. I need to text my mum, actually. Let me put this here on my computer. Where's my phone? Oh, do you want to see my hot water bottle? <laughs> Honestly, wish I could just whistle. My phone would be like, I'm here. <laughs> Wait, why can't I whistle? There we go. It's because I've got so many freaking bunnies here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bunnies and a unicorn. Seven bunnies and a unicorn walk into a bar. It's probably under me, isn't it? I'm probably sitting on it. Gotta look absolutely exo- Oh God, I've, I've got a blooming sleep oil in my eye. I'm so sorry. That's grim. Well, grim. It's real life. But no one likes to see sleep in other people's eyes. Especially as you can't even tell me. Because firstly, this moment within the past. God, Lauren, just calm down for a minute. <clears throat> okay, this is not cool to watch. Let me, um... Sorry, the bunnies look like they're kind of having some kind of orgy. Look at his face. It's like, mmm. Let me move him. Stop that. So I'm out. <laughs> with my new best friend, Biscuit. Hey, gorgeous boy. Hey, gorgeous boy. Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> Come on. So this, excuse me mister, you can say hi. <laughs> this is Biscuit and I walk him for my neighbour, he's two years old, he loves crows and other dogs balls. Don't you Biscuit? <laughs> and he's the best boy. I've only been, this is our what, fourth walk together? And he's so good. He's good on and off the lead, as I said, unless another dog has a ball in which he is very excited about that ball. Or even a human with a ball. He just loves balls, you know, because he's a dog. Come here. Trying to keep him out of the mud today, hence that muddy puddle there. I'm trying to keep him out of it, which is why I've put him back on the lead. But he is so cute. I am. Um, I say I walk my neighbour's dog. I can be honest with you guys. I joined Borrow My Doggy. Um, I don't know if this is going to be way too windy for me to talk about it, but yeah, I joined Borrow My Doggy. And we love each other, don't we, best friend? Ignore me if you love me. Oh, yay. We are home. Biscuit's home at his house. Uh, it's so cute. When I met him today, uh, the, the lady is very trusting. 
she just said, oh yeah, just let yourself in. I'll be at work. There's a key. I was like, okay. She's from New Zealand though, so you can tell she's not a Londoner. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. It's got a, I'm putting this massive, massive, massive. This is what got damp in my boot and then moldy. Disgusting. So I've just given it a big ass wash. What do I want to eat that I can't really be bothered to make anything? Something quick. Do scrambled egg. Scrambled egg. We have a winner. Here's my lunch, my late lunch, because it's about three and I burnt it, which is so rare for me. I don't normally burn food. Um, it's mm, yum. Sourdough bread that I bought last night with pesto on top. Um Chorizo, chorizo, whatever you want to say. Mushrooms. Uh, two scrambled eggs-ish, scrambled slash. Yeah, I burnt it. Ah! Um, with cheese. <laughs> uh, it was the end of the cheese, so I just like dumped it on. Cheese and spinach and some cherry tomatoes. Yum. In my new poang. at this pub. Looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I was just going to park there. Go on, mate, you can't get in there. Yes! There we go. So tonight I am taking myself out to a gig. Me, myself and I, we are going to see Foria. Foria, I think he is just a man. P-H-O-R-I-A. Um, oh, Current is an amazing, if you're looking to see, listen to music by them, Current is an amazing song. Robin's Cello is an amazing song. It's all quite different like classical heartbreak basically my cup of tea and i'm going to see them in union chapel which is an incredible venue it's just opposite highbury and islington it is as it says on the tin it is a chapel and it's just brilliant i've seen a few gigs there i've even seen comedy there once but it's just such a good such a good gig venue um I've actually got to sit in this stop, in this place for 20, 17 minutes because that's when the parking restrictions stop and then I'll get out and then I'll go. It's just literally that way. Um, yeah, because up there you'd never get parked at all. And I'm excited about it. I booked this ages ago, like two months ago. And yeah, I love going to gigs on my own. Um... I just, yeah, just love me time. Spending time on my own. So I realised that earlier I said I um, joined Borrow My Doggy. So I want to talk about it. Um, it's such a good thing. So in England, we have this thing called Borrow My Doggy. And if you are like me and you love dogs and you want to walk someone's dog, but you don't have a dog your own, or you want to look after a dog, obviously depends on each dog. And their owner this app is basically like tinder for dogs so you can put in your address and then you can see all the local dogs in your area that are signed up for this thing this is not sponsored in any way i'm just talking about it because i'm gonna get to the point of why i'm talking about it um and yeah i met little biscuit Woo! 
a couple of weeks ago. Um, he lives on my road, which is so convenient. His owner is amazing and yeah, so trustworthy. So good also, because then she knows that her little biscuit, because she works in the office two days a week. So on those days she, um, yeah, she was like, can you walk him on those days? I was like, yeah, of course. So um, he's so good. And we just went for the little walk around my park, my local park. And yeah, I'm hoping to borrow him on a Saturday soon and like take him on a longer walk because at the moment it's just like a quick, a quick up to the park and back in my lunch break. And it's just, I'd like to, I'd like to spend more time with him because he is such a sweetheart, honestly. Apart from the last time I walked him, he got a bit excited about this man with a ball. See, I told you he loves balls. Uh, this man had a football and he ran over to it and was just like staring at it like this and I was going biscuit biscuit whilst like legging it over the, and then he grabbed the man's hat that was on the floor and started like running around with this hat and I like the man because he's quite a big dog you know he's a golden retriever um the man was just like stood there like and I was trying to luckily when I said give it to me he gave the hat to me I didn't like have to like wrestle this hat off of the poor little puppy's mouth um but then, because he was so excited, he had like drool, he'd had dribble all over this black beanie hat of this man. So I was like desperately trying to rub the drool off on my own clothes. And the man was probably like, I didn't want the drog drool, but I equally don't want my clothes rubbed on your clothes. And then I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he didn't break it, he, did, he just held it really gently in his mouth and nothing happened, it was just a bit drooly. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, this isn't my dog. <laughs> just immediately blaming the cute little puppy um it's because he was off the lead and he's yeah he's always good off the lead unless there is a ball involved so the reason why this is such a big thing for me um you're gonna have an insight into me that you have not had before let me put my hair down because i feel like i need a second to gather my thoughts so i joined borrow my doggy for the first time in 2018 when I lived with my ex. Now, I know I've never actually ever really spoken about that relationship. Um, but it was really fucking terrible. <laughs> it was really terrible. Um, and I'm not even going to... I'm going to say they as, you know, as a descriptor to not, you know, pinpoint anything. Like, if you know, you know. Um, they had grown up with dogs. And when I said that I had joined this, because oh, it's such a long story, but we joined, they, they made me join a really expensive gym because it would be like us time together. Um... And it was £140 a month. Like, just don't even. Don't even. Anyway. Um, and then we used to play squash together. We'll get back to borrow my doggy. I'm, I'm getting there. We used to play squash together until I started getting good at squash. And all of a sudden, oh, my eyes hurt from the lights. I can't play squash anymore. We've got to leave the gym. And because I used to work from home, that meant to them that I never worked at all. And I had all my free time. Um, and they didn't want me going to the gym in the daytime because they wanted to go with me at the after after school, after work. But then they'd get back from work and be like, oh, no, I'm too tired. And then I'd get too scared to do anything on my own. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to join borrow my doggy. I'm going to borrow a dog and I'm going to go for walks and it's going to be great. I'm going to get fit. Da, 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 da. No. So they word for word actually said to me but you haven't grown up with dogs like what if you go to cross the, cross the road and you like drop the lead and then the dog gets run over like what if you know and I was I was so beaten down at that point mentally I was like well what if I do do that what if I do drop a lead and the dog runs away and gets killed so and then I did find a cute dog and they were like, oh, I don't want, I want to come with you. So I had to stay, I had to keep the walk for when they could come with me. And then it got round to it and it was raining and they were like, I don't want to go, just cancel it. So I never met that dog and I never met any dogs. 
and we never walked any dogs because I was so beaten down mentally, verbally. Um, so this is why it's such a big thing. Oh my God. <clears throat> This is why it's such a big thing for me to... This is partly part of the reason why I gained so much weight and why my anxiety went through the roof and why everything just effed up completely. Um, but thank goodness I got out of that relationship. I pulled myself from the depths and ended that thing. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to get people saying, oh yeah, I could tell, I could tell. And I don't really want to hear that, to be honest. Like, if you could tell, great. Good, good. I don't mean to be rude here, but good for you. But I've had a lot of people say that to me and it doesn't help because it just makes me feel stupid. And if you've been in a relationship like that, you'll know that that wouldn't be helpful. And I, I know that nobody would mean to... I just, you know, I haven't opened up for this for so long. Partly because I thought I was to blame, you know, as most people in these situations do. Um, wow, great date night vibes, Lauren. No, this is exactly what my therapy's like. I get to like a point and then I make a joke and bring myself out of it. Story of my life. Um, yeah, so... So that's why... Borrow, borrow my doggy hashtag not sponsored should be um is fantastic and that's also why i hate going out walking like if i've got that little fur, fur ball by my side he's so sweet i'm slowly building myself back up again to a better not better just a different version of me hopefully better um best the best version of me and it's ridiculous, really, because obviously I'm talking about this breakup, which happened in, what, 2019? Four years later. And I feel stupid for that. I feel really stupid. But I kind of feel like the pandemic didn't count. Because we, you know, the event, that relationship ended in 2019, July, end of July. Um, and then, obviously, the following March straight into pandemic so and yeah I still struggle a lot with it but I want to be always be as real as possible with you yeah so let's go and have a date night I'm hungry I feel like I didn't have that brunch that long ago but I could eat as per usual I'm parked on a street called Laycock Street <laughs> and there's a pub at the end of this road called the famous cock do with that what you will honestly why is it so cold <sighs> see look we're coming down this road and you can see the chapel spire right there friend Amy came to this venue and said that upstairs was better. Interesting. the car. Wait, let me 
shut my doors. It's quarter past ten. That was a long ass gig. And at the end, the the um, flashing lights were just getting too much. So I was ready to leave. <laughs> but I sat on the end of one of these benches so I could just get up and um, shimmy out. And it was great because they were um, old church benches. You didn't have like a confined seat, which was really good. But no, it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, they're such a varied band. So like there's more like stuff with beats. There's like a solo cello piece. There's stuff with singing, piano. There were 20 humans in that band. There were like five guys who like four of them had a keyboard each. One of them had like this synth thing. Uh, one was on drums. And then the orchestra was like 15 people. It was really cool. But I'm ready. You know what we're gonna do now actually? So, <laughs> yesterday I found um, this woman on Olio was giving away some drawers and I need a new set of drawers. <sighs> now, she lives about five minutes from here, but she was moving out today. So she was like, you can only come and get the drawers. She was gonna charge me 15 quid. Fair, drawers are expensive. Um, but she was like, you can only come last night at like half 10. I was like, it's not happening. So what I'm gonna do is she gave me her postcode. I'm gonna drive by and see if she's left them outside. I doubt it but we might get a freebie. So let's go and do a drive-by Olio and then I need some food. I might just get a cheeky McDonald's. Mac, I was gonna say Mackey D's and then McDonald's, so it came like us. McDonald's, uh, cheeky Mackey D's drive through on the way home. Ooh. Oh God, I'm so ready for bed as well. Right, turn these off. Get out of the road. assistant at the village primary since their own two had been young enough to go there. He touched her cheek, thinking he'd never loved her more than he did in this moment. She had so much love for everyone. Perhaps we should have a chat with some of your contacts and child services and look into something more formal like fostering, if you want to. Okay, so that house should just be up here on the left. see anything I mean there's loads of flats around here so God knows no okay Mackie D's for me one of the couples stopped and turned into each other his black clad arms falling band against the sunny yellow of her long winter coat also, I wanted to say that today when I was getting ready, I was like, oh, I'm going to a gig, so I need to have a shower, wash my hair, do my hair, put on something nice. And then I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> That's all like pressures I put on myself. So yes, I did a little bit of makeup in the car, but I left my hair put on I was like what do I want what vibe do I want tonight and I was like I want to be comfy and I want to be warm so big cozy jumper I've got my joggers on I've got my stripy bed, bed socks on that you can actually see between my trainers and my joggers and yeah I felt great so 
trying to check myself more recently like is this me or is this capitalism <laughs> is this what I've been taught to do as a woman you know and yeah felt great was cozy was very warm perfect god it's so late it's 20 past 11 i left my house at like 5 30 5 30 where are we going? Are we going there? Oh, okay. Okay. anyone seen the Barbie movie? I saw a clip the other day, it looked quite funny. I'm home well nearly um and I thought I would leave this video here <sighs> this has been a wild ride isn't it <laughs> lots of brand new information lots of things lots of feels um but yeah thank you as always for being there for me for listening and yeah let's keep keeping on um Come and say hi in the comments. Send me some love. Um, and yeah, I will see you again soon for another video. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But um, I love you. Have a lovely day. What? Goodbye. Bye.